back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. This eyeshadow palette is not a new palette. I purchased this eyeshadow palette during the Sephora VIB sale. This is what the outer packaging does look like. And then on the back, you do have the shade name. When you open up the eyeshadow palette, this is what the packaging does look like. I love this purple packaging. I love how sleek it is too. So it's great for travel. This eyeshadow palette does come with 16 shades. So let's open this up. Look at that gorgeous eyeshadow palette. This palette also comes with a decent sized mirror. Let's get into the swatches. Are all 16 shades swatched on the back of my hand. Some shades in this eyeshadow palette were a little bit patchy, such as this shade right here. We have this purple shade down at the bottom. I do apologize that some of the swatches were all over the place. Um, I was running a bit out of arm space, but I am glad that I was able to get all 16 shadows on the back of my hand. And this is what they currently look like. So now we're going to create an eyeshadow look. The first shade that I am going to be taking is this corally shade right here, and I'm going to fluff that all over the crease. I had to film this video twice because the first look that I tried, I did not like the way it looked playing with different colors and seeing how they work um, also in the first time when I did record this video um, there was a lot of fallout I like this corally shade it blends so effortlessly in the crease and I do like how pigmented it is I'm not gonna bring it up high all the way I'm just gonna just leave it right here tucked into the crease like so. Also in this eyeshadow palette there are a lot more glitter shades than there are matte shades. I think there's about nine. There are nine glitter shades and the rest of the shades are matte. The glitter shades are a bit chunky and the glitter shades are a little bit harder for me to blend. I also wet my brush as well the first time around and I didn't really like how it blended with a brush and then I ended up using my finger. I'm gonna grab this red shade here and I'm gonna put that in my outer V. So I'm just gonna be taking that same brush 
and I'm just going to place this on the outer. So once I just pack it in, I want to do a little circular motion. You guys, today has been such a crazy day. Not only that I had to refilm this video, but I don't know, it's been such a weird day. Have you guys ever had those days where it's been so weird, like you just feel like everything is going wrong? Today when I was setting up, like my makeup, I was cleaning up my makeup brushes. My makeup brushes, it fell in the trash. Can you believe that, you guys? My makeup brush ended up in the trash. How did that even happen? I literally was just holding my brush, cleaning it, and then all of a sudden, I don't know, it just flinged out of nowhere, ended up in the garbage. It's like, today is not my day. I like how that blended out. I am gonna be using a glitter shade just to cover this up in the center, because we are gonna be creating a halo eye. So let's see, which one should I use? So should we use this shade? That looks very, very pretty. Or, well, I already know this shade here was giving me problems earlier. This shade I was not a fan of. It was very, very hard to blend and put on the lid. So this shade I don't really like. Let's see, what are the other options we have? Ooh, this icy white shade, I was surprised. Like when I first watched this, I was like, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. So I think we're gonna go with that. We're just gonna pack this in the center of the lid. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we have a little bit of fallout, but not a whole lot of fallout, which is good. We can dust out the fallout later. But ooh, that's actually really pretty. Glitter shade is so iridescent. Let me just blend it all together so there's no harsh lines. As I mentioned earlier, the eyeshadow look that I did earlier, it was, I don't know, it was just so bad. It just did not work out for me. And I just ended up removing the entire eyeshadow look. I did not like it. For my inner corner, um, let's go with, is this the golden shade that I used earlier? For the inner corner of my eye, I'm just gonna take this golden shade. This eyeshadow palette does have a lot of fallout. Don't like fallout, you guys know this. I would prefer an eyeshadow palette that is not gonna have a ton of fallout like I currently have on my face. Glitter specs here. I always tend to do my face makeup first because I'm always in a rush. But I really do like how this look did turn out so far. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. I love the look. I love how these shadows blended very well together. Earlier it was looking a little bit muddy and just not my cup of tea. But this eyeshadow look I really do love. The matte liquid lipstick that I am gonna be using for this look is by Jordana. This is in the shade Cinnamon Toast. I haven't used this shade in a while. And I feel like this shade is not gonna take away from the eyeshadow look. This color, I love the formula. And this has a really affordable price point as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more mascara. Cause you guys know I don't wear falsies. What I like to do is I like to layer my mascaras together. So we're just gonna use a couple. You guys just missed what happened. I was putting on my mascara and my mascara wand just fell down. It was a mess. I'm telling you today is not my day, but I do love this eye look. I love my makeup look. Also you guys, I was trying to get rid of some of the fallout from my face from the, the white eyeshadow, which is not coming off. That's gonna, I'm just gonna leave that on. It's just gonna be a little bit of sparkle during my day because today has been quite a day for me. Overall, you guys, I am not a huge fan of this Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. I just thought it was just meh. There wasn't anything unique about it. I did not like how some of the shades swatched or blended out. The first time when I did try to create a look with this eyeshadow look, I used this blue shade. I wasn't really a fan of it, but it is very pigmented. Um, this shade here is not pigmented at all. Um, as you guys can see, it's it's barely there, you can barely see it. But in the Norvina palette, there is a similar shade, but it does have a bit of glitter to it. This one is a true matte shade. Um, so I'm gonna compare the two so you guys can see. So this is the Fenty Beauty Swatched. That's a Fenty Beauty shade. And the shade that I was talking to you guys about is this shade here in Soul. But see, it's a little bit more pigmented, and it does have that little bit of glitter in it. It's kind of similar, not truly identical. This shade was a little bit patchy for me. I wasn't a fan of this shade. 
felt like it was patchy and it's not as pigmented. I'm not a big fan of this eyeshadow palette like I thought that I would be. Both of these eyeshadow palettes I was not a big fan of. They both have fallout in it. Actually the glitter shades in both of these eyeshadow palettes are very chunky. In my opinion, I would not recommend these eyeshadow palettes because they do have a ton of fallout. I would like an eyeshadow palette with minimal fallout and that I can work fast and quickly with, but those two I would not recommend at all for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.